Hi, I'm Liz Strand. I'm a longtime member of UUSF and was recently elected to our Board of Trustees. As part of my work on the board, I joined the Journey to Wholeness Racial Justice Group, and within that, I'm working on the Eighth Principle Task Force. In case you didn't know, there's an eighth principle that could be added to our traditional seven principles, and it's already been adopted by more than 25 congregations throughout the country. As a board member, I was honored to be part of the recent unanimous vote to approve the board charge to the eighth principal task force. So we're official. I've been truly inspired by the wellspring of activity that has emerged from this work. And Mari and I are with you today because we want to bring you in on the project. But more about me. Over 50 years ago, I was lucky enough to transfer in to San Francisco State College just before the historic student strike there that started in November of 68 and I joined in. We were calling for the establishment of a black and third world studies department that ultimately culminated in the School of Ethnic Studies, which thrives there to this day. Over the last few years here at UUSF, we've engaged in efforts like participating with the Oakland Church in a dismantling white supremacy workshop. And it was supposed to be expanded to more members and repeated in the spring of 2020 when the pandemic lockdown derailed those plans. But since then, my education on racism and white privilege and supremacy has ramped up here at the church through classes and presentations in the forum and the humanist group and by the books I've read in Reverend Southern's monthly book group. Books like White Fragility, How to Be an Anti-Racist, So You Want to Talk About Race, and my favorite so far, Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. Each has broadened my views and taught me about the true history of slavery, racism, reconstruction, Jim Crow, and the impacts they've had on real people that I never learned about in school and that continue to this day. I've also have a different perspective now than I did back in 1968 when I felt compelled to help the disadvantaged which is laudable as far as it goes. Now I realize it's our job as white people to change ourselves and our institutions in which white supremacy is deeply embedded. And yes, it's here in our congregation too. How could it not be? Previous attempts here at UUSF to widen our membership to include people of color while well-intentioned have not really worked in a big way. When I recently heard about the eighth principle, it felt like the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. I believe that adopting the eighth principle will provide us with a clear, well-lighted path to creating an atmosphere here that will be more welcoming to people of color. So you may be thinking to yourself, what is this eighth principle? Well, here to explain more about it is our own Mari Megaloni Ramos, who's been a member of UU for 20 years and a member of our congregation for five years. Mari? Thank you, Liz. My name is Mari Esther Megaloni Ramos. I go by Mari Esther or Mari, and I am first generation Mexican American. I am the chair of the Eighth Principal Task Force to lead our congregation towards a vote to formally adopt the eighth principle, which reads as follows. We, the member congregations of the Unitarian Universalist Association, covenant to affirm and promote, journeying towards spiritual wholeness by working to build a diverse multicultural beloved community by our actions that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. Adopting the eighth principle will be an acknowledgement that racism has systematically been undermining the values of our other seven principles, from diminishing the worth and dignity of every person to the impunity with which degradation of the environment is tolerated in communities that are populated by people who are Black, Indigenous, and of color. 
until we confront it directly, racism will continue to undercut our efforts to bring about our Unitarian Universalist vision of a just and loving world. The time has come for every institution without exception to grapple with the question of racism. We are not exempt. Ask yourself, does this congregation look like the diverse multicultural beloved community that Unitarian Universalism aspires to create? No, it's time to ask ourselves, why not? No matter how well-intentioned we are, we have all been tarnished by racism and have work to do. The turbulent political climate and the disastrous and equitable response to the COVID-19 pandemic make clear that we are being called at this moment to name and re-engage in the struggle against racism. Adopting the eighth principle as core to our spiritual practice will be more than a symbolic act. It will be a mainsail that when lifted will catch the animating force of our commitment and put our congregation directly on the path towards spiritual wholeness. Let's make clear to the world, Unitarian Universalists commitment to the work of dismantling racism and to creating diverse, multicultural beloved community. I invite you aboard the great ship UUSF, the original love boat. We invite you to learn more about the eighth principle um, by looking for information in the flame and in the order of service. And join Mari and me in the coffee hour right after this service in a special breakout room to discuss more about the eighth principle and get your questions answered. Ship, Ship away! away.